All right. It's the next day, and we're starting to get the timbers off of the trailer. I have one right here I need to use for the retaining wall. The other two are hanging in my bucket. I made this angle iron bracket, welded a tab on the inside, and that way you can bite it as it pivots. So, so far so good. Let's get back in the woods. Fingers off. coming down. Huh? Leave it right there. All right, so the plan is working. Use the timber to level off the tractor. Went right across, set the bucket down. Then we're going to attach lags down in this um, beam right here. And then I'll tilt my bucket a little more, pull the tractor away. So it's going to work out pretty good. Should we, uh, you want to roll this one over so all the ties are, are facing up? Well, it looks uniform? No. Why not? Well, because it looks good like that. Why well, you want to purpose to put all the bad sides up? Well, we should have put all the bad sides down, but... Well, that's okay. We're correcting it right now. Come on. What you want to do? You want to roll this one over, too? Yeah, well... Maybe that was work. All that with a dirt scoop and my turbocharged Kubota. There you have it. A bridge going into the woods. Now I'm gonna go prep some 80 pound bags of concrete. I need to make a shoring right here. So I have creek, two forms of rushing water come through here. I'm gonna build a nice retaining wall right here. On this side, small one on this side, so I don't want to put too much more dirt. As you can see, I ran through here real quick, compacted it. Obviously, I need to do a lot more compacting on this side, but this side is pretty compact. Probably gonna get a bag of concrete for here to this tree, and probably, probably three or four bags of concrete 
for right here. So whew, I think we're gonna call it a day. Grab some concrete, I'll be back tomorrow. All right, got the concrete. Also picked up my dirt bike from the shop and made these pretty cool quick next mounts. That'll be a video coming up soon. But I bought like 26 or 7 bags of concrete. Um, probably too much, but let's start loading up. Had to go back, I forgot to get rebar. But all the concrete bags are down. And now we are fighting the weather. But we have the chain wall up on each side. And I did overlap them a good bit and uh, patted them down to where they have a bit of a cup and uh, then push the dirt behind. So a good thing, all the rain is going to help <clears throat> compact all this. And then I got my rebar. I'm going to do two per stack. And again, the bags are almost a little overlapped. They have a little bit of a brick formation. Helps tie them together a little bit. So let's get this rebar in. And I get my bolt cutters and actually cut a few of these to the length. Some are too long, so. But that's what you need to really make it nice and solid. So we haven't driven in. I'm gonna make sure I get a bunch of aggregate around the top of that rebar so it never comes through the bag. It creates like a trip hazard or anything. Just tap it around and the concrete just settles around the rebar. Alright, so we got them all in. Some of them like over here, I actually put uh, four in the ground and that way really holds it in to here to here oh here it is right in my feet i'm gonna start poking a bunch of holes in these bags because we are gonna get like five days of rain and the water i'm gonna leave a little bit channel let all the water run through these bags and get them all wet that way I'll make a nice structural wall the dead weight of these bags is enough for the, to hold the dirt in when they solidify and they're locked together they'll be even stronger so, the bags plus the rebar that go in the ground at an angle, holding everything together. The dirt, which the center is already compacted from the tractor itself. So really, it's only holding this little bit of loose dirt on the sides right now, which will also compact because all this is literally clay. Well, I believe this is the end of the day. But there you have it. A bridge that can support small tractor four wheelers anything you throw at it again I am NOT an engineer I simply look at what the internet gives me for data on what these beams can hold please do your own research for uh, a weight spec of what you think it can handle I'm not gonna put a number on it all right guys so it's actually the next day well, a few days the weather Constantly was drizzling, but the bridge is finished and uh, the dirt is starting to pack. I'm going to run the tractor back and forth on it, but there you go. Probably about um, four to five feet from where the water level is right now. Where the tractor sits. And I'm really happy how it came out, even with uh, the weight of the rear of the tractor, dead center. Pretty much catching one beam, if you even could. There's no deflection in the bridge at all. Now, these tires are water fills. There's a lot of weight back there. I'm on two beams, as you can see. That's the beauty of having a nine inch wide board is that the tire will grab more than one of them. But it came out really good. The concrete bags were definitely necessary. I need some more fill. Um, like, of course, this is gonna pack a lot. You can see right here, just this first roll. Smush it a good bit. and the bags are already completely solid from the rain. So that is good. A little more dirt there, kind of cover the bags a little bit, make it look nice, especially on this side. 
But yeah, came out really good. This is the galvanized plate, just from Home Depot. And then I also have the galvanized plates right here, these end caps to keep these from splitting. Typically, uh, these come with them sometimes, sometimes they don't. I definitely recommend adding them. Uh, you know, these are used timbers, so you want to preserve them and keep them from opening up and splitting. And also, these are like, it's strange, these are quarter inch bolts, but they have the load capacity or strength capacity of a 3 8 lag. And these are called timber bolts. And I uh, got those from Home Depot or Lowe's or one of the two. It's like 50 bucks for a box of them. Um, I think it might be like 40 or 50 of them. Totally worth getting. Driving 3 8 lags through all of this would be a nightmare. But yeah, really happy how it came out. I'll do one more little walk around of it. If you have any questions, feel feel free to drop a comment. Uh, never mind giving somebody a helping hand. Uh, the project was pretty straightforward, but I didn't really see anybody else build one like this. So this video helps. Smash that like button. Consider subscribing. And thanks for watching, guys.